Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rana Renee. I go by Nene. I go by Riri. Whatever you want to say, and we back with another weekly video, y'all. Y'all, so today is September the 15th. It's a Monday, and I know I have not been posting my vlogs lately, but I do, don't get me wrong, I do have these videos uploaded and edited. I just gotta post it. But today's Monday. I am currently about to go to a uh, mailbox because my package from TikTok shop came, and I need to go ahead and film that content. And I'm gonna have a serious conversation with y'all because your girl got some stuff to talk about. So let me run down here and get this package. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so I'm about to run down here, go get this package, and then when I come back, I'm gonna talk to y'all what I really want to talk to y'all about. So let me go. Alright, y'all. So I am back. This is my package. We got it from the TikTok shop. Well, the TikTok shop sent me this. So we're gonna open it. I already know what it is. These are the um, cleanser. You know how when you wash your face and you see people using those towels? This is what these are. And I needed these because I've been using like regular face towels. And I noticed like sometimes it can have your face stinking if you use it constantly. So I was like, you know what? On TikTok, y'all need to see me this. So TikTok sent me this. And it's 50 of these. So I'm definitely going to try these tonight before I go to bed. So I got to film that content tonight um yes but anyways y'all so i just want to sit here and talk to y'all because if you guys been watching my tiktok videos y'all saw that i post that um i start working a full-time job now and i you know got my assistant manager position back and i've been really reflecting on it actually going back um not working for two years has really it's kind of hard getting back into that working position but honestly i just feel like it's that place um since i left a lot of things has changed and when i was there it was a lot of toxic situation going back so in my mind i'm like why would i go back to the toxic workplace that i actually left for a reason and being back there is is really not the same i'm used to work with the same co-workers that i um used to work with and all of them not there it's only like two people uh it's only like one person that i actually i'm actually cool with that's back there and i know it's bad to only work there for two weeks and not even show up anymore but at the same time it's just like i have my man gave me the opportunity like my man gave me a great opportunity of not working my man like my man provides for everything um he pays everything and for me to like i like like i said like don't get me wrong i wanted to have my own money just so i can have my own money and if i wanted to help out with my man i can help out but at the same time it's just like when i was like cleaning the house and stuff i was like damn i really miss being a stay at, a stay -at home wife like i had it good like i didn't have to clock into nobody workplace i didn't have i didn't have to hear nobody tell me what to do i didn't have to hear no rude ass customers talking to me i had it good like i had i had it good like i didn't have to clock in and i know like deep down if i really really wanted to make extra money i can like uber eats or like doordash um you know do that on my free time and you know like i'm am still in school so it's like my main focus right now is really school like i'm going to be graduating pretty soon uh, and another reason why i did want to work is because i had to pay for school my last semester because my scholarship was only for like three years and it's getting into that time where i have to pay for my own classes but i know i believe god's going to handle everything for me so i'm not really worried about that but um I really been reflecting on it like today i've been sleeping all day it's three it's three something i've been sleeping all day like i've been like when i tell y'all today and tomorrow are like my only off days like i've been sleeping all day and i normally don't sleep all day i normally get up film content post content edit content but i haven't done that at all and i know it's because my body is kind of getting used to the right place but like i said i did apply to other places because i think it's just that place but honestly i just feel like i just want to not clock into nobody workplace and just like you know like be that stay-at-home wife that i was you know having the home cooked meals just making sure my man was okay making sure the house was okay and if bills needed to be paid my man had that so i your girl thinking about going back to be a stay-at-home wife because i just miss it and then i have saturdays and sundays off like Hey y'all, it's Future Me Editing. Don't mind this right now, but it's Future Me Editing and I honestly want to say like, I don't want y'all to be in my comments and be like, oh, you should not depend on a man 
blah blah this and blah 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 this is my decision and i'm pretty sure if a female had the opportunity to not go to work they don't want to go to work it's not i'm not saying that i would never go to work because as y'all know i am in school to be a teacher so eventually i'm going to be going back to working a nine to five but it's different from working a nine to five and when you actually have a career um, I'm going to have a career, if that makes sense. But so I don't want y'all to be in my comments and like try to take it the wrong way. But like, if y'all want to work a nine to five, work the nine to five. For me, y'all know I was just dealing with a lot throughout the time. So that's why I said for me, it's just, I'd rather just not work right now until I get my college degree. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't want y'all to like bash me in the comments from not working anymore and depending on a man. This is my husband. I've been with him literally um, almost seven years. Like our anniversary is coming up. We've been together almost seven years. He never did me wrong. He never stirred me wrong. So, and I just know how sometimes female can be very judgmental. So I don't want y'all to be in my comments judging me because this is my decision. This is what we decided. This will work for me and my family. So whatever works for y'all, works for y'all. But for me and my household, we gonna do what work for us. So yeah, bye. Let's get back to the vlog. Bye. But yeah, so what would y'all do? If y'all, if your man tell y'all to, you can be a stay at home wife, like would y'all stay at home? Or would y'all go to work? I know a lot of females are like, they like to have their own money, which I get that because I'm the type of person, I, I like that too. But me and my man have been together for almost seven years and he would never put me in a bad situation to where I gotta be on my own. And if I do gotta be on my own, I know how to get up and grind and I, I know how to make my own money. But I really wanna just focus on my content, make content and be that stay at home wife and eventually, hopefully we can have kids. Um, the stay at home white part was kind of hard for me because we don't have a like we do have a kid but she's not physically here so it's just like it was really boring at the time but now it's just like okay if i really need the car i can drop my men off and i can do what i gotta do and stuff like that but i don't know y'all i'm just really i haven't really been been debating on this and i know my men is gonna 100 percent support me if i don't want to go to work but anyways, y'all, yeah, so I'm about to chill out until it's time for me to cook dinner. I'm cooking um, pork chops tonight with some macaroni and something. And yeah, I'm just gonna cook dinner. My men is at work, so it's kind of quiet in my house right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna um, stop talking because I've been talking for five minutes and I'm about to go edit this TikTok. So I can post this TikTok today. So I'll catch y'all later. All right, hi, y'all. Hopefully y'all can see me. It's kind of like dark in my room. Well, not really. I got my light on, so hopefully y'all can see me. But anyways, y'all, it's currently um, 7.46 at night. Um, and I literally, like I told y'all, I've been sleeping all day. I literally, was, once I got off the camera with y'all, I literally took a nap. And I didn't get up to about 6.30. And I just got finished cooking dinner. And I cleaned up the kitchen. And now what I'm about to do is do my Bible study and do uh, read my chapters for school. I've been so behind on reading my chapters. And if you know me, I always stay on top of my assignments. Um, So that's another another reason why i kind of want to quit my job um uh, because i'm so behind on some of my stuff and yeah my man is okay with it so for the ones that are coming like girl you need to get a job mm, my man is okay for me not working and plus i got a good man and he takes me but anyways anyways disclaimer um if y'all hear my smoke detector don't mind that the battery we have to change the battery and my man gotta go get a new battery when he get off of work so so for the bible study i'm about to do this way that i saw shalaya day do it shout out to shalaya day because i was watching her youtube video and i was like i need to do it that way just to see if you know i can you know be consistent and then plus since me not want to work i want god like god gotta be my provider god gotta make a way for me and my family like you made a way for us to move here now you gotta make a way for me to be consistent with anything that i do to give my full potential on becoming a full-time content creator like i want to get the 30,000 subscribers on youtube i want to get 10k on tiktok just so i can make the bread and it, it's not like i want to be a full con full-time creator because of the money but i just love recording like i love doing this so like i do want to make this like my full-time job so god gotta be my provider for this like god you gotta come through but anyway so i am following um shalaya day and the girl that she did it this is the girl tiktok page i don't know if y'all can see it um but the one that i'm doing today is choices and this is how she kind of like did it so i'm not gonna like copy her work but i'm gonna like you know do it the way like that um my battery's about to die so hopefully it doesn't die so i already 
started you know right decorating and stuff but the verse i'm gonna read this verse before my camera dies um the verse she did was proverbs 3 and 6 so we're gonna go to proverbs and the bible i use is the life application study bible i did get it off of amazon i am gonna link this down in my description box in my amazon storefront because my auntie bought this for me for my birthday and a lot of yeah just know my auntie bought this all right y'all so i just got the shower it's like 10 something almost 11 o'clock at night i just got the shower the shower felt amazing um i'm about to try this product um one thing about me is before i do a video of the product that tiktok sent me i like to try my first um so basically i'm gonna show you how they look how do i open this okay so these are the Lux cleaning face towels so this is what they are and i'm gonna try to link this in my um description box but it's on tiktok if you follow me on tiktok it's in my um show court my showcase so this is how it looks it's just regular face towel we're about to wash my face and y'all already know i use Dale's Dow, Dale, whatever you say. I use this for my face, and I'm starting to use my good mole good molecules products now. So I use the brightener toner, I use the moisturizer, and I use the oil at night. And then in the morning, I use with the moisturizer, I put my sunscreen on, which is the black girl sunscreen, because you know it's I stay in Florida and the sun is always shining, so I gotta protect my face. So I'm about to wash my face and then we, I'm gonna monetize this part so you guys can see how I wash my face and stuff. So that's how I do my face routine. Um, I know y'all be like, oh, your skin. Like when I be posting my TikToks, y'all be like, oh my God, your skin is so clear. My skin don't be looking clear to me. It just, I don't know. But anyways, y'all, um, it's late at night. It's probably like it about to be 11 something at night. And I am about to take a pain pill because my head is hurting. And it's probably because I haven't drunk any energy drink yet. Um, because I've been living off energy drink for the past two weeks now. And yeah, I haven't drunk any energy drink. Hi y'all, so it's currently the next day from me recording. It's September the 17th, it's my best friend's birthday. So best friend, if you're watching this, happy birthday. It's 10.38 in the morning. And my man is actually getting his hair done right now. So um, I'm about to go in here with him um, so he won't feel awkward. Um, but yeah, so I am vlogging for TikTok. So, or yeah, I had to vlog for TikTok. But yeah, so I'm about to go in here. I got me a cup of ice because it's hot as hell and i decided to put on some sweatpants in 90 something degree weather like why would you do that girl what is wrong with you yes hopefully we can get something to eat after this because i'm so yeah let me go in here and i'll be back up later bye y'all uh, so we just got back to the house it's 1 41 right now i literally just got finished cleaning up my kitchen i'm about to clean up the bathroom a little bit um it doesn't really need to be clean but it needs to be clean so that's what i'm about to do um and then i have to fold up these clothes right here i wish i had another tripod because i'm trying to film for for a tiktok and um i'm trying to fit for tiktok and stuff like that so we gotta fold up these clothes we gotta put these clothes up the kitchen is clean i gotta sweep the floor and then we're gonna clean up the um, bathroom and then your girl gotta finish doing homework and stuff like that so that's what we're about to do i think i'm about to do the bathroom that way i can get the bathroom over and done with um so let's go <laughs> So I just got finished doing everything. It's 2.19. It's like 2.15 right now. 
the living room's clean, our bedroom's clean, our kitchen clean, our bathroom clean. Now your girl about to relax. Um, I'm about to do my Bible study though. I'm about to do my Bible study and I'm about to do my homework because I got to do that. And I'm still trying to debate, y'all. I'm just going through a lot. I am OD tired right now, but I got everything done for today. I'm about to just finish what I need to do, my Bible study, my homework, and then your girl gonna relax for the rest of the night until it's time for me to eat and take a shower because I am tired. So I'm probably gonna continue this vlog out this week if we do something. Um, if not, then I don't know what I'm about to do, but bye y'all. All right, y'all, I am back. Y'all like my pajamas? Y'all can't really see it, but it's be the juice my man bought it for me i'm about to make dinner it's 7 20. i'm making these chicken patties yo these are really good my mom used to get get us these all the time yeah it's a little dark my mom used to buy us this all the time and i like to add cheese on my but i'm gonna put them in the air fryer because we don't have a convention oven so i'm gonna eat that yeah and I did my Bible study tonight, y'all. My Bible study tonight was talking about hard times. And it was a really, really good Bible study tonight. Y'all, I really I really recommend y'all to go follow that girl page on TikTok. Because, like, she, like, I try not to copy from word for word. I just try to copy stuff that stick out to me. And it's been really, really good. But I'm about to eat my breakfast. And then I'm about to finish doing what I'm doing. And we're going to pick up the camera probably tomorrow because I don't have a job. All right, hi y'all, it's the next day, it's 12.43, and I'm currently on my way to Planet Smoothie. Y'all know I love me a good ass smoothie. And we're gonna go to Disney Springs today just to walk around. It's hot as fuck though, so I don't know how long I'm gonna be out there at Disney Springs because it's really, really hot. I do wanna go see my baby today, so we're definitely gonna go to the cemetery today. And then we're gonna go to Disney Springs and then your girl gonna be coming back home because it's a little hot. It's a hundred something degrees out here. Then we might get in the pool today. So who knows? All right, y'all. Hopefully y'all can see me. I got my strawberry smoothie. I just get strawberry smoothie with yogurt. I shouldn't add protein in it so I can gain weight. So this one mine. And this one's my baby's. He got like the Amazon kick or something like that with protein and stuff. But yeah, I should have I should have got protein in mine. And of course, we gotta take a picture from for YouTube. Let's go home. Okay. I want y'all to see her thing. Y'all can't really see because of the sun, but that's my baby. The sun is like blocking it. So I'm gonna try to take a picture of it so y'all can actually see it. But that's my baby, y'all. So I'm about to sit here and talk to my baby for a little bit. And it's hot out here, so we're about to go, go home because it's hot. Really, really. Now, welcome back to my channel. Today is September the 19th. It's like two something. I have to go to find me a formal dress because I have a event to go to on October 9th. Um, I'm going to be speaking about my daughter and it's a formal event. It's like a gala. So I had to find me a nice dress or something. Um, basically, I had to dress up. So I'm going to go find me a cute little outfit or whatever. And then we're going to hit up some stores and then we're going to get us some lunch. And then we're going to go home and do my Bible study and do my schoolwork because that's a day in the life of a stay home wife. My baby gave me the money, so we gonna go get what we need to do. So I'm at the Florida, Florida Mall right now, so let's go. Come on, I forgot that Orlando just opened Primark, so we are gonna go to Primark later to see what they got, cause I'm so excited to buy what they got. But right now we about to go in Zara because I need to find me an outfit, so let's go. I have no luck finding something formal, so I don't know what to do. But I did stop at Bath and Body Works and I got my man this cologne because he was asking for it. But we about to go to Primark. This is Primark. We about to go to Primark and they got a Disney section in here. So we about to go check it out. Let's check it out. Y'all know my man, he loves the nightmare before Christmas. This is pretty. And I got like a little lunchbox. It's really cute. 
Should I get Miss Wallet for R or should I get an M for Murphy? It is only six dollars. What should we get? So I'm back in the car. I'm about to show y'all what I got. I'm about to head to my side of town because it's already I'm hungry and I'm hot. So I went to Bath and Body Works to buy my man something because he bought this spray and I just bought the cologne so he can have it. So he's gonna see this when he get home. Then I went to Primark and I bought me a wallet and it was like $3. I need a new wallet. I'm about to use this bad boy now. But I'm about to head to my side of town. I'm probably about to go to like um, Home Goods or something because I am on the lookout for like two bar stools so I can put them on, on my island. Then I still need to find a formal outfit for this event and I'm having no luck right now. So, and then I'm probably gonna get like Chipotle or something for like to eat. So let's go on my side of town and yeah, I still gotta do right this thing. Like, like, look at this Disney traffic. This is nothing but Disney fucking traffic. Like, Disney fucking traffic. So y'all know I want bar stools in my island. Um, they got this, it's $40, but they only have one. And then they have this one. This one's fifty dollars, sixty dollars. I mean, but they also. Uh, hi, I'm back home. It's uh, what? What did I see? It's six twenty-four right now. Um, I'm really back home. I'm about to show y'all this haul of the stuff that I got today, and then we're gonna go out and get some Chipotle for dinner. Then I gotta do my Bible study, my schoolwork, and then your girl gonna be out for the night. My man is leaving me tomorrow for the weekend. He has to go to the funeral, so he's gonna be in Detroit. But, so the first thing I got, I went to Bath and Body Works and I got my man some cologne. It smells so good. Um, I also got a wallet from Primark and it was like $3. Now we went to Burlington and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got. I got these cookies. I love these shortbread cookies. These are really, 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 really good. Like I really love these. Then your girl got some more high shoes because the ones that I have is poop. So I just got these high shoes. The next item I got is these pajama sets y'all know i love a really cute pajama set so i got the shorts and i got this and it was only 9.99 then i got this pajama set this one was only 7.99 and then like i told y'all i'm gonna be speaking at an event on october 5th so i have to find something like formal wear and i just got this blue dress I got this blue dress and I'm gonna put some heels with it and then for my like jacket to cover up because I know I'm gonna be cold. I got like this black sweater for it and then I'm gonna wear my civil heels and my Michael Kors purse and I'm gonna call it a day. But yeah, so I'm about to put all this stuff up and I'm about to um, run to Chipotle to give me some food because I'm starving like really, really bad. And that's pretty much it y'all i don't know if i'm gonna continue this vlog on later i really don't but that's pretty much it y'all 